what a cool movie. And I, when I began watching the movie, I didn't know at first it was based on a true story, which then I'm like, okay, wait, it made it even more awesome. Um, tell me, you know, what it was like uh, getting involved in playing real life characters in this like crazy true crime movie. I mean, it was, that was part of the fun. I think sometimes, you know, the, the, the truth is stranger than fiction. You know, and this movie, especially like the, the, the idea that this guy robbed 59 banks in a row uh, and the way he did it with with these crazy disguises and sort of flying ac across the country yeah. to different provinces is so wild. While having a wife who knew nothing about it. Right. You know, that kind of stuff is like, like this could so have actually crazy. happened, but it did. And, and I, I can't believe I hadn't heard of it before this. I mean, it felt like it's a story that I would have heard about. Yeah. Why do you think it's so shocking, this story? How he was able to get away with it so many times. I mean, but if you take yourself back to, you know, 1985, I think obviously, like we were saying, the airports are different. I mean, just being able to travel was a totally different experience, so. Yeah, security wasn't nearly what it is now. Yeah. So he could get away with a lot more then. Yeah. Probably a lot of the things that he did influenced tougher security on some of these banks because he just, he would go in and a couple years later go back in and rob the same bank. And finally like, okay, we need to figure this out. Yeah. Maybe we should put some cameras up. Yeah. Right. You know? Right. Everybody's just so nice though in Canada too. You're Canadian. Yes. So everybody yes. seems nicer <laughs> there, but. I don't think we like our banks being robbed though. <laughs> no, not at all. We're helping them. Like, here's a bag. I mean, we're yeah. nice, but we're not that nice. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Um, now, the disguises, what was the process like? And, and both of you transformed because, you know, I have a side by side. Oh boy, yes. You know, oh boy. Oh boy. So, the actual and the, the. Well, first of all. Oh yeah, okay, right? wow. And then here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now. Yeah. You know, he must have been pumped up that you're playing him. I'm just gonna say. He was a he was he was a he was a he was a pretty suave dude. He was suave. Yeah. He was suave. Yeah. You got the looks on him though, but I'm just you know. <laughs> oh, thank That's you. Nice. Yeah. I am in full hair and makeup. <laughs> well, being in, in those disguises, kinda of take me through that process. That was one of the big reasons I wanted to do this was because it was just such a it just felt like such a fun ride, this whole movie. I loved the overall story. I loved, the, you know, this the, the 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 story between he and, and Andrea, and the complications, but the true love that they had, and how he really, really wanted a family and kids and like something he never had growing up, and that's really kind of the influence behind you know starting this whole you know heist thing from the beginning. Uh, but the truth is, getting to put on all these different disguises was was so much fun. It, 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 things came out of me that I didn't even know were there. <laughs> Once you start putting different noses, different wigs and all these things on, you start becoming somebody else. And I really got to play with that. And, and you became the popsicle man. And, and it's yeah. taking <laughs> off, it's becoming viral. I, the it shirtless is? scene, oh yeah. It's, oh, is it's, it? Oh yeah. It's it's becoming its own thing, the popsicle man. <laughs> I love uh, it with the rainbow vest. Yes, oh, uh, I love you, that. Just tell me about really you committed. Tell me oh, about yeah. committing to that. Well, again, this is when this is when he's trying to be an honest sort of guy. Before he started robbing banks, he moves to Canada, needs a job, had just escaped from prison in the U.S., so couldn't really do anything that would would, would raise any flags. This was a job that he could do, and he wanted it, and he was he was just good at it. He hustled and made, you know, it was all about tips, it was all about how much you sell, and uh, yeah, that was that. Was, you really see his charm, though. You see his charm, and you see his abs. You do. <laughs> or Dude, what happens? What when are you doing? Like that's amazing. You're just rocking. Oh me. please! Oh no! Come I on! Was, <laughs> I was in Southern. Well, I, I, you know what? Again. A lot of, uh, you'd be amazed what they can do with visual effects these days. <laughs> no. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, what was it like the first, you know, you guys working together when you first impressions of each other? We've known each other a really long time, yeah. actually. So, um, I mean, we've been, we've been around in the business long enough yeah. that we've crossed paths many times. And so finally to get to, to work together on something and to, it to be a, a story, a Canadian story, which is so cool. But the chemistry stuff was really, we had a lot of great conversations before we got to Georgia. He was filming something else at the time, but we got to have a, a couple of great chats and we were both on the same page about, you know, what we wanted to do with, 
with uh, with the love story and and how important that was, you know, intertwined with the with the crazy action of the film. So, um, yeah, it was yeah, easy. That's yeah. awesome. I, and again, I'm, I'm going to echo what she said. I always liked Alicia because I always thought she was really easy to just hang out with, and I knew that it would be a fun experience. We had so much fun making this movie. Yeah. She was so easy. I could throw anything at her, and she would come back with something better. And I was like, wow, this girl's so good. Yeah. And it so came easy. Thanks. Never any issues. It was just like, and she was pregnant. Yeah. Yes, yes. She didn't tell me she was five months pregnant when we shot this. Yeah. yeah. No, five weeks. Yeah. <laughs> I would oh, have been showing Yeah, five weeks. Yeah, yeah. I said the same thing earlier. I was yeah. like, it I'm, came I'm going across. with months. Yeah. It was really good. Awesome. Um, newlywed. I want to know, um, I heard about your story the night before. I want you to tell me what happened the night before your wedding. Okay, so it was, first of all, my now wife did an amazing job planning this thing. I was, I was working through most of the time we were planning it, and so I, was, I would be able to help with little things, but she planned this thing and did an amazing job. And so the night before, we had this great rehearsal dinner <laughs> at the Fargo Brewing Company, and they had this band called, the, uh, this, this incredible band named 32 Below that's been pretty big in the area for quite a while. We rocked it out, had a great time, getting the party bus at the end of the thing, of, on our way back do. to the hotel, and I start like thinking I can hang from these two like things you're supposed to hold on to inside the bus and like suspend <laughs> myself <laughs> with both legs. And then they started, and, and I was like, ooh, something happened there. And then they started like, crowd surfing me across the whole party bus and I, I did something at some point and tweaked it. Woke up the next morning, couldn't get out of bed. Mm. Day of the wedding, like literally an hour and a half nightmare. before the wedding, I couldn't walk. The one day you have to be able to walk. And oh. so I went to the emergency room, they shot me up. I was good to go for the rest of the day and night. Danced the night away, woke up the next morning, couldn't get out of bed again. Oh God. So I've been God. sort of nursing it back to health since. Okay, before I can't, I have to, this is 25 years ago. Oh, God. Coming up, when you went against that was this 25 man. 25 years ago? 25 years ago. You went against Ashton Kutcher, and in the video, you said, I think my toughest competition is going to be a guy, I don't know his name, from, I forget his name, from Iowa. Uh huh. Ashton. Ashton. What you was Remember, that? you just did the stairs with him. Check it out. Oh my God, what was it? It was a modeling competition. A modeling and competition. called IMTA is in and New he York was City. Your, yeah. Yeah, and I beat Ashton. You know what's so funny about this? My two favorite actors I've, I've got to work with. Really? Yeah. Oh, Ashton's fun? Amazing. I've never been able to work with him. He's a good dude. Oh, he's, you would, you would love working yeah. with him. He, he, I mean, it's, how, yeah. How That's did so that great. change your life, that, that event? It didn't. I thought it was going to. I thought this was gonna like rocket me to stardom. Really? He went on to like superstardom right after this. I, I would, so I win this thing thinking, oh my God, this is my ticket. This is my you ticket. You did it. And, and he got, he took came runner up. And then he, right after that, he went Goes on to, to do 70s, that 70s, 70s show, show, Calvin Klein campaign, and a bunch of other stuff. Wow. And I didn't do anything for like four years. I was like, that son of a bitch. That son of a bitch. I beat Two him. of the best leading men in the biz right here. Two of the best. Oh, that's awesome.